get ready with me as I transform my hair from this to this in about 10 minutes. Today's video is sponsored by Her Given Hair. They have the most natural looking natural hair ever. And I've worked with this company a lot of times and I can attest to that. Anyway, this is what our unit looks like. It comes in this natural color. This is a middle part wig with just a little bit of lace to really, really make sure that the hair is nice and thick. As you can see here, the knots have already been bleached, so you don't really have to do much. The hair is already cut in style as well, so you don't have to cut it at all if you don't want to. But you'll see how I'm going to be styling it here. Alright family, so this is what my hair looks like. It is just in a messy bun ponytail type thing. I have been wearing it like that for a few days. So the first thing I'm going to do is section off my hair in two parts and then I'm going to braid it and connect the braid and you'll see what I'm talking about here. All right family, so the braids are done. Now let's go ahead and oil our scalp. So I'm just using our aloe vera hair growth oil to put on my scalp to make sure that my hair is moisturized and to also make sure that my scalp is well taken care of throughout the duration of this hairstyle. Anyway, this is the pamphlet that the hair comes with. It just gives you all the instructions that you need. And this is my girl, Mary. I love her. She is such a sweetheart. Anyway, moving on to our hair here. This is what the unit looks like once again. It comes with this beautiful baby hair. This is natural baby hair. I feel like this is more realistic than the straight baby hair. So anyway, let's go ahead and cut the lace off. We don't have a lot of lace to cut off, so it's just a tiny little piece that we have to cut off. So my typical style is I just like to do this as simply as possible to make sure that any and everyone can do it, all right? I don't do anything lavish. So the first thing I do is grab my brush, put a little bit of my foundation on it. At this point, I think everybody knows this routine now, but I just like to do it just in case somebody out there has not seen it yet. It's pretty easy to do. You just use your brush as you would on your face and just dab, dab, dab until the color changes. And when you're done, this is what it looks like. Now it looks like my skin tone and now I can fool people and act like this is actually my hair. <laughs> There's not a lot that you have to do with this hair, y'all. It just comes beautiful already. It comes cut. It comes bleached. Anyway, again, I like to go simple. So I'm going to be using my Got To Be Glued hairspray to install my hair. I pushed the hair behind my hairline, sprayed the perimeter of my hair with the hairspray, and then I went ahead and applied the wig, as you can see me do here. And then I'm going to use this elastic band to secure it. I like to tie this down very tight. It comes with Velcro, but I never use the Velcro. I just like to tie it down so it's as tight as possible. So once our hair is tied down, I'm going to use this spray bottle that I got from the Dollar Tree to spray my hair down. This spray bottle works perfectly fine and it just, it takes a lot of water and you can put some product in it. I like it and it's only a dollar 25. It used to be a dollar, but the Dollar Tree is tripping y'all. They, they put their prices up on us, whatever. So anyway, this is just water. I'm just making sure I spray the hair down to get it a little wet before I can apply my product. This product is amazing. I actually got this from Burlington and it was only $5 for this big thing. It's actually for curly hair and it smells so good. It is by ORS. I hope you saw that. Take a screenshot, um, do whatever you need to do, but this product is really, really good. All right, so we're using this detangling brush. I'm going to go ahead and, as I said, wet the hair, use my detangling brush, make tiny little sections of the hair, Take my product with my fingers like that and then apply it to my hair, making sure to separate the curls. And then I'm going to go back in with my detangling brush and detangle from bottom all the way to the root just to give it that natural look. And look at this, y'all. It's so cute. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of my hair when my hair was super long and super thick and super curly. Yeah. This is what this is giving. Anyway, moving on, I'm just going to do this section by section to make sure to cover the entire hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist it up. This is what's going to give you that natural look. It's nice to just take the wig out of the box, put it on, maybe put a little bit of leave-in conditioner, water, whatever. 
but this method is gonna make your hair look so pretty and so natural. It's gonna give it that two, what is it called? Two finger twist look for your natural hair. I just, I really, really like this method. So that's what I'm using here. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty easy to do, but I just think that this part is really important, especially if you wanna make your hair look nice and natural. And look at this, y'all. Look how beautiful this is. Her giving hair be given. Like, they be given hair. They be giving natural hair. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking a little section here, and I'm going to go ahead and twist it up in a two-finger twist, um, two strands. I don't know what this is called, but yeah. As you can see here, I'm just twisting. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I'm just grabbing little sections, twisting, and, and just making sure to lock the products in, making sure that it's moisturized and just trying to make it look as real as natural as possible all right so moving on to the next section all right so here we are all done so i have about six twists in my hair so we're going to use our shower cap to not only protect the hair but to also keep the product in there so it's not messy when we go to sleep and also to make sure that the curls really, really take their form, okay? This shower cap is on my website, nibalux.com. Check the description box to grab you one. I still have the elastic band on. I'm just gonna leave that on, put my shower cap on. It's also a bonnet, and I'm gonna go to sleep in this. As you can see, I have my PJs on the whole time. <laughs> so good evening family it is the next day it is evening time i'm going to my auntie's um retirement party and i just want to look snatched and look so cute and natural and that's the look we're going for today so i'm already dressed my makeup is already done everything is done i literally just have to take this off take out my curls or just like form my curls and get out the door okay so that's what we're gonna be doing here so I still have my six curls in. Oh my God, the hair is dry now, so it looks beautiful and it looks so natural. Look at this. If I didn't tell you this wasn't my hair, you would think that this is my hair. Like, okay, you would think this is my hair. Anyway, I'm just taking the twist out. I'm rushing now because I'm super, super late, super late. <laughs> But we're going to make it, y'all. It's better late than never, okay? Like they say, better late than never. And at least we're going to show up in style. We're going to show up with our hair looking the bomb. And that's all that matters, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, look at this hair, y'all. I can't praise this hair enough. You just look at the hair and let me know if, if I'm crazy. Like, look, how beautiful is this? So now I'm just fluffing it with my hands. See how it looks more natural? It looks like my natural hair versus me just like taking it out of the box, putting it on. So anyway, I'm just gonna shape it around my face. I hate to cut this hair, I really, really do. And if you get this hair, you don't really have to cut it. You can just play with it to um, shape it around your face. I hate cutting my hair, but I don't know, my face is kind of different. Sometimes my face takes a longer shape and then sometimes it takes a more round shape. Anyway, it's hard to explain. So I just had to cut a little bit of the hair just to shape it around my head and my face a little bit. So this is what I have. I'm checking myself out, checking out the outfit, checking out the hair, and we are looking so good, family. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Oh my goodness. This was completely worth it. It looks bouncy. It looks natural. It has that natural color. It's not super black. It's not brown either. It just looks like this is my real hair. And I didn't even have to do baby hairs with this, honestly. You do have the baby hairs there if you want that option, if you wanna lay your edges and you wanna do all of that. And here I am posing for the camera, feeling good, feeling myself. <laughs> I'm feeling myself in my Beyonce voice. Anyway, so this is what the hair looks like, y'all. Tell me this is not my real hair. Thank you to Her Given Hair for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check the description box. I have all of the info in the description box. Thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you all, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.